At this station, you'll learn to compare fractions when the denominators are the same. Suppose you had to answer this question. Would you rather eat four-fifths of a head of broccoli or three-fifths of a head of broccoli? The answer might be different depending on whether you like broccoli or not, right? At your station, you have some fraction manipulatives, some colored pencils or markers, and a recording sheet called Comparing Fractions When the Denominators Are the Same. Be sure you can reach all of your materials. Use your fraction manipulatives to show four-fifths and three-fifths. You can pause the video while you make the fractions and then start it again when you're done. Pause the video now and make the models. Start it again when everyone at your table is finished. Your manipulatives should look something like this. You know what the hole is, and you could have made the hole with this, all the same size pieces, and your hole is divided into five equal size pieces. On part one of your sheet, you have some circles. Partition the circles and shade them in to show four-fifths and three-fifths. Remember that partitioning means to divide something up into equal size pieces. So you want to divide your circles up into five equal size pieces and then shade three-fifths on one of them and four-fifths on the other. Also, make sure that your fraction manipulat manipulatives look just like mine. So now pause the video, partition the circles, do part one, and check your manipulatives. Now let's count the fifths on your manipulatives. Use your finger and point at your three fifths. For three fifths, you should have three of the fifths pieces. It takes two more of the fifths to complete the circle. Let's count them out loud together. One fifths, two fifths, and three fifths. Now, Point at the four fifths. For four fifths, you should have four of the fifths, and the fifth one would complete the circle. Count them out loud. One fifths, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. Now let's compare them. Which one is larger, four fifths or three fifths? It's pretty easy to see that four-fifths is larger than three-fifths. Four-fifths has more fifths in it than three-fifths does. Four-fifths is more of the whole than three-fifths is. In part two on your sheet, you're going to write the comparisons in symbols and, and in words, and you're going to Write your thinking by filling in sentences using a word bank. So you're going to pause the video and fill in part two, then start it again when everyone at your table is finished. You may need to discuss the sentences with your, with your friends sitting at the table. Pause the video now and fill in part two. Let's look at what you should have filled in. First, let's look at the comparisons. How do you write a comparison between four-fifths and three-fifths? There are two ways to write it. You can write four-fifths is greater than three-fifths, or you can write three-fifths is less than four-fifths. Now let's look at how I filled in the blanks using the word bank. There are two ways that you could have filled in the blanks, and both ways are right, but you have to have all the words the same in each one of the ways, so let's look at it. Here's one of the ways. When the numerators are different and the denominators are the same, 
the fraction with the largest numerator is greater than the fraction with the smallest numerator. You'd have to have the words largest, greater, and smallest for that sentence to be correct. You might have filled it out in a different way, though. You might have filled it out like this. When the numerators are different and the denominators are the same, the fraction with the smallest numerator is less than the fraction with the greatest numerator. So if you're going to use these words, you have to have the words smallest, less, and greatest in that order on your sheet. If you have something wrong, go ahead and correct it now. You can pause the video if you need to do that. Do you have trouble remembering which symbol to use, which greater than or less than symbol to use? Here's a trick. First, circle the smallest fraction, the largest fraction, and then underline the smallest fraction. Now look at the end of the number line. Look at that left end. See the shape of the arrow? See how it matches the symbol that we wrote? You can use this symbol when the smallest number comes first in the comparison statement. 3 fifths is smaller than 4 fifths, and 3 fifths comes first, so use this symbol. It's called the less than symbol. Now let's look at the other comparison statement that we wrote. Look at the right side of the number line. See the shape of the arrow? See how it matches the symbol we wrote? Use this symbol when the largest fraction comes first in the comparison statement. Four-fifths is larger than three-fifths. Four-fifths comes first in the comparison statement, so use this symbol. It's called the greater than symbol. Now look at part three on your sheet. You're going to work the problems in part three. See if you can use mental math to determine which fraction is larger. When you've finished, raise your hand so your teacher can check your answers. If you have extra time, challenge each other with fraction comparison problems to practice this mental math skill. Pause the video and work with your team. Thanks for learning with us.